Here we will demonstrate the technique weighing by difference. For the first part, we will obtain a rough mass on the top loading balance, which can determine the mass of a sample up to two decimal places. Following this, we will use an analytical balance and the weighing by difference technique to obtain a more accurate mass measurement. Using the top loading balance first ensures that the mass will be in the desired range and helps keep the analytical balance clean. First, place a plastic weighing boat on a teared top loading balance. A weighing boat or bottle should always be used to weigh out solids. Never use heavy glassware such as Erlenmeyer flasks or beakers on both top loading or analytical balances as these are too heavy to be weighed. Be sure to handle the weighing boat with gloves or a Kim wipe so as not to transfer moisture or oil from your hands. If you are using gloves, make sure not to touch any common surfaces such as doorknobs or keyboards so as not to contaminate them. Add approximately 1 gram of the reagent to the weighing boat. The mass does not have to be exact. If your mass is different by 5%, which in this case is 0.05 grams, then that is acceptable. If you add too much, dispose of the excess solid in the solid waste beakers located next to the balances. Make sure to record the final mass in your notebook. Head to the analytical balance bringing a notebook, pen, volumetric flask, wash bottle, funnel and the weighing boat containing the solid you weighed out. Place this equipment on the bench next to the balance. Before taking a measurement, ensure the balance is clean and that all doors are closed. First, tear the empty balance, then place your solid inside using a Kim wipe. Obtain an accurate mass of the weighing boat plus the sample on the analytical balance. Record the mass in your notebook. Transfer the solid into a volumetric flask using a funnel and re-weigh the weighing boat plus any solid that is adhering to its sides. Record this empty mass in your notebook. The difference in the two measurements is the mass of the sample in the flask. Before you leave the balance room, wash any solid adhering to the funnel down the volumetric flask with a stream of distilled water from your wash bottle. Return to your bench to complete the preparation of the solution. Add additional distilled water from the wash bottle to fill roughly 50% of the flask's capacity. Stopper and swirl the flask to dissolve the solid. Do not invert the flask while there is still solid present. Once the solid is completely dissolved, fill the volumetric flask until the solution is 1-2 to two centimeters below the mark. Use a pasture pipette to carefully add distilled water until the bottom of the meniscus rests on the etch calibration mark when read at eye level. Stop for the flask and invert it 15-20 to 20 times to thoroughly mix the contents. To calculate the concentration of the solution you just made, divide the mass of the solid transfer to the volumetric flask by the volume of the solution, which in this case is 250 milliliters. Because the mass was measured in units of grams, we need to convert it to milligrams by multiplying it by 1000. This will give you the concentration in milligrams over milliliters. Music